Hello, Thursday. Welcome to Random Friend Time. Are you as excited about the topic this week as I am? It's a good one. Top five. You know, it's funny. The first person to wear a top hat in England was arrested because the hat was seen as offensive. Fun fact! But anyway. Most attractive instruments a person can play. Number five. The flute and other related instruments, such as the piccolo or the ocarina. Since this instrument carries a light and airy sort of tone, it can set the mood with ease. Bonus if you can play Song of Storms. Number four. The piano and keyboard. The piano carries a lot of historic versatility, capable of anything from classical to modern jazz. It's a staple of ambiance. But if the only thing you can do is, you know, just play chopsticks, that's not really playing the piano. That's more of a party trick. Number three. The guitar. A favorite of groupies everywhere. If you can rock out on, like, an acoustic or bass, you're, you're pretty much set and you shouldn't have too many problems. Though it is especially good if you can play Spanish guitar. Number two, the human voice. <sighs> Nothing beats a good serenade. But that doesn't give you an excuse to go crazy either, like when singers want to reinvent the national anthem. It's, it's like, just, just sing the damn song. And it gets me mad when I hear that singers win competitions like America's Got Talent, which is supposed to be open to, you know, all the talents, because it's not like singers don't have The Voice or American Idol or The X Factor or anything. But if you could sing like a lovely crooner and not like a banshee, then you're fine. Number one. The violin. A good violin player has got it made. And if you can play the electric violin, or have a fiddle made of gold, then you win at being hot! Mm. Well, everybody, that's what gets me going, at least. What are some of your favorite instruments? Post comments below! And I'll see you next week. Random Friend Squad! Hey, Mike. Look what's in my place.